hello and welcome to my channel thank you for tuning in thank you for subscribing if you haven't done so please consider it's all free right today we're gonna have a session at Abadawa lighthouse it's gonna be a rough ground dish the target species is conga and codling so we're gonna fish evening into darkness half the night maybe let's see how we're gonna get on um packed up uh, but first what we're gonna do is I'm gonna dig some fresh ragworms location a secret because there aren't many good locations around in the area so I've got a good one and so if you want to find out where lugworms are I can give you locations for lugworm but not for ragworms right so yeah i'm gonna get going and the next thing when you see me you start fishing okay see you later hello again now we're down here in Abadawa Lighthouse, which is there. Let's see one. Yeah, it's a lovely calm evening. Uh, low tide is in about half an hour, nine o'clock, low tide. And <coughs> so I'm going to fish it all the way up. That's what the plan is. So well, let's see how it goes, how far we up. See if we're going to get any bites or not. So. Let's see what happens and uh, I'll show you the first rig. I've got the first rod set up and it's a very very basic bottom rig with a third of a bluey, big bluey but I just took a third of it. It's a very very easy Padanusta rig near the, near the bottom. I don't want to ride at the bottom so just a bit lift off the bottom and Let's see. Yeah, we've got about 50 pound mainline 4 0 hook with a 3 3 0 panel. So let's see. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to cast it maybe 15 20 yards. So, like, like just the edge of the kelp. And yeah, whatever happens, we have a good time. <laughs> I always want to find out how it's going to fish it dark here darkness because around the corner over there I uh, caught on daytime a couple little straps I didn't land them I got, had them on the line but I couldn't get them up the rocks too steep and it just came off but yeah let's get the first one check, checked out and uh, set the second rock, rod, rock, uh, uh, rod up I'll just show you yeah the ragworms been digging some ragworms Look at these. Yeah, nice ones. That should be Kiwi going tonight. It's well over a pound there. And uh, yeah, it's it's not a strong tide. It's a building tide with about four and a half meters of high tide. And uh, you don't want to fish here on a, on, a, on a really high tide. You can get snagged up left, right and center because the current is too strong. So yeah, we're going to check it out and see what's happening. Right, I'll show you the next setup when I set it up. Let's get the first one out. Lovely calm evening. We got to like a northeasterly. <coughs> Water's cloudy. That's a good thing. <coughs> Not good for the mackerel, but good good for anything else. You never know. There might be bass around. The low tide. So let's get it checked out and see what happens. Right, we got the second rig set up, and it's just a rock bottom with a, about 10 15 pound breakaway, uh, a 3 0 long shank worm hook with fresh ragworm and some floating beads on a 50 pound main line. Let's get it checked out there. All right, stay tuned. I'm getting some little tabs on the 
and the rod with the with the, with the big bait a small fish just like little little rattles that's big bait on there so small fish <laughs> I gotta eat let's tighten it up a little bit or oh, could be small eel the bait was stripped on the on the left hand rod with a ragworm within 15 minutes nearly all stripped so tide is coming in now so hopefully we're gonna catch something if not we're having a good time a stunning evening it's calm All right, stay tuned. Yeah, just missed a good bite on the right hand rod with a ragworm. It just went like boom, 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 boom. By the time I got to it, it stopped and it's gone. Never mind, it might come back. Yeah, it could have been a ras. There's normally codling that just swallow it. Oh, coley. All right, stay tuned. We keep you updated. Yeah, I'll show you what is left. The big bait. Nothing but elastic. <laughs> yeah, it was actually it was a crab when it just came off in the rocks. Yeah. All right, never mind. Let's put a new bait on. And now I've got the timing, so just get it up a bit earlier. Yeah, I just put a nice new bait on there. Nice big ragworm. Wow. Let's see if that catches something. All right. Oh, so peaceful. Very peaceful. Yeah, apart from that one bite, <coughs> decent bite, no, just crabs stealing the bait. All quiet. Lovely. Well, we keep you posted if there's any development. It's only very light wind, which is nice. So, yeah, let's hopefully we can catch a fish. Yeah, I'm getting a few bites now. Not big bites. Could be small codling. Just lost one rig on uh, the big bait. So, I haven't made another one of those rigs, so I scaled down a little bit. Small, smaller bed with a three-hole long shank, and just put a piece of bluey on there. So, all right. Yeah, if you fish rough ground, you and inevitably lose gear. So, never mind. We keep on plugging on. Stay tuned. Well, I just lost another rig. And that is the culprit. I think they're called Gemini Quicklings. Yeah, I just pulled in and it's just all gone. It's not the first time it happened. So I will not use these again. Alright, just to let you know. Yeah, it's nearly high tide now. And uh, we had a few small bites, but nothing major. So I give it another 20 minutes and uh, well, that's what it is. At least we had some action, but only small action, only small bites with cold fish or grass and so nothing substantial to report. Never mind. It was a lovely, lovely evening into the night. And uh, yeah, the crabs had a feast, stripping the hooks. So, okay, fair enough. <laughs> but if there's anything else to report, I'll put it on the end. If not, I won't. And, well, we tried. We come again. 
and I thought the tide was good and everything the weather was good but maybe it needs more westerly I don't know we we'll see you later bye bye Ooh. standing nothing happened really in the last hour and a half apart from crab activity so all right we we'll see you later